Hey everyone, we're the Crafty Gals. Today we're going to show you a simple soccer field that we're going to use with the Cricut. And this is just a sketch we had planned out to make sure we get it perfect. What you're going to need for this is a piece of two white cardstock yeah. and two pieces of green cardstock. And it can be any color green. You can get like a green grass color, but yeah, we got just regular grass green. Okay, first of all, we have the line down the middle. And for that, we're just going to cut a strip. And we're going to do about one inch. I have the dotted line one on because I cannot find the straight, the yeah. straight one. And it's getting on my last nerve, but... And then we'll have to cut it in half. Yeah. That is just going to go down the middle. And how big is this? Let's see. It's about an inch and a quarter. And today we're using Georgian Basic Shape. So I think that's the only thing we're using today. Yep. And we're using a lot of the single weathered feature. And we'll just see how that works. Okay. So those I are think that's good. We're just going to lay out our pieces on the green. And then as we work, we'll put them over there. Okay. I'm just going to cut this to fit my Cricut mat. Okay. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is the outer field line. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. The, the big goalie box. And so what we're going to do... Load your paper, just like always. We're going to keep it on silhouette. I have that on. What does the size need to be on? Five and a half. Okay. Our pressure is going to be five. Let's go ahead and, and put it on. going to be on yeah. uh, four. Let's do that. And then let's do three. three. Just to keep it safe. Okay. And we're going to use a shift. And then we're going to use the rectangle. And I think that's everything, so. Please work. And these are great if you have a child in soccer or you with a soccer game. It might have worked. Let me just check. No. Not really. Okay. Well, I think that just happened because, I mean, crickets do that. But, I mean, it's no big deal. You just redo it. So, we're going to take this white one and just put it in our scrap. I'm sure we can use it. Or... So... Okay. Let's try this again. We're going to need two of these. So, I'm going to try to make this quick. Okay. I re-stickied my cricket mat a couple of days ago, so it shouldn't be doing this, but it might just be time to get a new mat. Okay, we're going to just repeat last, so I don't even remember what we did. I couldn't remember. There's so many rectangles I can't remember. Please work, please work. Right here's where I messed up. Okay, good. So, looks like it's going to work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's working. Once again, this is just going to be the outer goalie box right here. Okay, we're just going to uh, turn the camera off and we're going to let the other one cut so we don't bore you to death. Okay, we got our second one cut out. And it actually worked. And, and both of them worked really good after that one little incident, so we're okay. And then we figured um, that we could just use, we need the inside box, so we're just going to use the cutout from our silhouette rectangles that from before. So. And I think we're going to do the size maybe on, I would say, four and a half, maybe. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, let's yeah, go ahead and do four and, four and a half. Hit load paper. We're going to do the same one. We're just going to repeat last, because this is all we've been doing. I don't know if it got it. It's fine. I'm going to stop it. 
Remember, for the soccer box, we don't have to have the one of yes yeah. long sides on, so we should be okay. So we're just going to unload paper. Yeah, that one yeah, that was a little good. short, but it's fine for what we're doing. And we're going to use this piece right here. Then we're putting the other piece from the other middle back in. We're going to load paper on our feet last again. And it'll probably cut off the side just like it did, but remember, it's fine for this. And if you need to change up the measurements, we probably recommend that if you have a different scrapbook size. 8 by 8 scrapbookers are probably going to have to tone it down. Okay, we're just going to... Yeah, it looks exactly the same. It looks great. Okay, so now all we need is a circle for the middle. Yay. Okay, and I have, I have this extra piece of paper. Remember, I used all of this from one sheet of white paper. Let's see. What should the size be on? Uh, we're gonna, remember, we're cutting it in half. Yeah. So, I'm thinking maybe five. I'm thinking four, four and a half. I'll try four and a half. Yeah, let's go ahead and do four and a half. And then if that doesn't work, we can make it smaller or larger, whatever we need. Okay, and we're using silhouette again, and we're going to use shift circle. Oh, yeah, I think that'll look good. So four and a half. Yeah. Now remember, we are cutting this in half because one half, half has to go on one page, and half has to go on the other. And if you're making like an eight and a half by eleven scrapbook, you might not even have to do a two page layout. But to get the rectangle effect, we're gonna want. Okay, looks like it's done. So we're gonna hit unload paper and just peel it off. That came out really good. I like the size. Very nice. Yay! Okay, and now we are going to get our Scissors. Okay, we're going to clear out all of our junk. And, and we're going to have to use our tiny little scissors. I can't find either one. Let's see if I can find them. Okay, let's I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Oh, yeah, I found some. Oh, okay, good. Okay. These are just little, okay. like, tiny scissors that I can't really work with. Yeah. we got to cut our circle in half, so I'll do yeah, that. I'll go ahead and do that. Remember, try to get exactly in half as you can. Yeah, that looks pretty good. good. Okay. I mean, it, we're just going to glue everything on, and then we'll show you the final. Okay, we glued everything down, and we decided not to do the middle strip. We decided it looked not too much. much. Yeah, it looked a little bit too much, so we just ended up doing the box, the other box, and the circle in the middle. Now, what I think that we're going to do also is take one of our little um, soccer balls, and it's cut it rub on us. Yeah. Cut it in half and then put it in the middle right there. So it's like a little kickoff. Um, I think that's it. And see then you can always add pictures here, here, yeah. here, and here and do journaling on the bottom, the top, in the goalie box. Mm hmm Whatever. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and comment. comment.